So what is Chlor AI and, and why is it up nearly 4,100% in less than five months? I've got a lot to unpack in today's video, but essentially we're going to do a deep dive video on Chlor AI, even though we've talked about it before in other videos and a list of other proof of work related cryptocurrency projects. Uh, but in this specific video, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and everything you need to know about this project and talk about what's made it successful and where can it continue heading towards. Uh, so with that said, if you're new here, my name is Alex. I talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, smash up the like. Without further ado, let's jump in the video. As we dive into this video about Chlor AI, please realize that there's probably a few things uh, that are still yet unknown about this project. It's still very, very early considering it's a sub $50 million market cap, uh, and it already has uh, gained about 4,100% in the course of about five months, almost up 350% in just seven days. So please realize there's going to be a lot of people who watch this video who have this feeling of FOMO, fear of missing out on the opportunity of Clore, uh, while many have already seen the gains from watching prior videos. So if that doesn't give you a reason to subscribe, I don't know what else will. But nonetheless, just realize uh, Clore is up a significant amount. And from a uh, involvement standpoint, Personally, I would always rather mine the coin than buy the coin, uh, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So now with that out of the way, what is Clore? Now, doing a bit of background history on Clore, I came across a couple of articles that were posted very early on. Uh, when Clore originally was launched, it launched a product or service called Secure Cloud. Uh, this is an article posted back in May of earlier this year uh, from socials. Clore started posting on X or Twitter uh, December of 2022. So it's been around for just slightly less than a year. So it's still relatively new to that extent. Uh, but this article states Secure Cloud emerges from Clore AI's strategic acquisition of a European data center enhancing the firm's capabilities in the cloud computing sector. The system offers high-end computing as an unparalleled price, complete anonymity, and an ultra-stable computing environment, which is quite interesting considering that with the likes of Clor AI, uh, there is the, the team is anonymous. Uh, that is one thing to highlight. Uh, some people like that, some people don't, uh, but something to know nonetheless. That said, uh, it is interesting considering the fact that this isn't built, this was built with the product already in hand, uh, and then out came out of the product the marketplace. So it's interesting because oftentimes uh, projects are successful based on users coming to the product, project providing the product. Uh, in this instance, the product was already provided and users came and added to it. I think that's a very interesting approach and just shows uh, the fact that Clore AI, to a degree, according to this uh, source, is, is a very uh, capable company. Um, and it's not just uh, something that's based on random individuals across the world offering up their GPUs to be rented. But in fact, according to this article, they acquired a data center uh, for a portion of this protocol in, in this company specifically. So I just wanted to highlight that. Uh, this is also referenced in uh, Bloomberg as well, uh, talking about this, I think is pretty much the same exact article, but something to know nonetheless. But what is uh, Clore AI? Essentially is dis uh, distributed supercomputing. It, in many ways, is similar to other projects we've talked about in the past, uh, where users have the capabilities of using or, or uh, renting their GPUs out to people who are needing them for specific services. So when it comes to a real world use case, that uh, phenomenon is absolutely applied to the likes of Clore AI. One of the things that makes it very, very appealing. Um, and when we look at the data, the data really speaks for itself, showcasing how much of the GPUs that Clore AI has at its accessibility and how many of those are actually being used will be 
mind-blowing to you. We'll get into that in just a second. But uh, what will be mind-blowing is the price action <laughs> of Core AI. Um, it, you, and I mentioned this in, in a couple of videos already. The people you need to follow are the people who are the crypto mining YouTubers. Uh, the people that you need to follow that you can see these kind of results. There was, I can name a list of 10 individuals who are mining Chlor all through this time frame and we're telling you about Chlor all through this time frame. And yet some of the biggest YouTubers and some of the biggest crypto Twitter influencers don't even have Chlor on their radar and Chlor is up nearly 6,000%. So the thing is, Chlor has absolutely exploded. So has the hash rate, uh, GPU mineable hash rate of Chlor AI as well. Now, one thing to know about Chlor, it is uh, based on Kapow uh, algorithm, which does make it to a degree ASIC resistance or ASIC resistant. So that is one of the things a lot of people who have GPUs left over from Ethereum moving from proof of stake to proof or from proof of work to proof of stake, uh, a lot of miners either turn their GPUs off. Many of them we're seeing turn them back on due to the profitability of mining core. In fact, um, I have just a couple of ring laying around. Uh, most of my money, I, I had to sell a lot of my GPUs to start uh, fraction mining, but um, with some of the GPUs I have right now, for example, a 3070 uh, that I, is currently in my PC right now at a 10 cent energy rate would pop out 42 cents in profit, which is really, really impressive. Uh, and obviously this is simply one of the reasons that this is possible is due to the fact that the price of Chlor has astronomically increased in price. That said, a lot of people who are mining Chlor when it was maybe not profitable or when they were break even have seen their small bags turn into thousands of dollars. Uh, DJ Miner specifically, small bag of Chlor going from a small bag to well over $7,000, which is kind of insane. So those are the kind of people you should be following, but let's talk about Chlor and its use cases. Now, uh, the aspect, and, and there's a lot of a variety of use cases when it comes to GPUs and computing, uh, but obviously the hot topics are AI and machine learning. Uh, so this is capable of doing some of this, harness the power of high-end GPUs, efficient, scalable AI model training, uh, deep learning, uh, mining as well. So for people maybe in areas where their energy rates, uh, for example, in Europe, a lot of European countries, electric rates are extremely high. You're talking about 30, 40 cents. Uh, and maybe they want to get involved in GPU mining. They can get involved by renting GPUs through the likes of uh, Chlor AI for much lower rates than probably what is in their country and, and be able to harness this technology, which I think is absolutely unique. And then uh, lastly, movie rendering. Uh, a lot of, of rendering for high-end uh, videos uh, or high-end graphics require a lot of resources. And, and so something that like, to this degree would probably remind you of more of a project like Render when it comes to this specific aspect of its use case. Now moving on as far as the idea behind Chlor uh, is, yes, it's proof of work, uh, but it has a bit of a twist to it. Now this is explained better in their white paper, which to be fair is very, very short. Uh, and, and pretty straight to the point. And so if you do wanna check this out, I'll leave a link to the white paper uh, down below. But uh, essentially the proof of holding system is attempting to benefit not only the person uh, that is renting the uh, compute, but also to the person providing the compute. Uh, essentially, the more core coins you hold, the more bonus core you receive for leasing your equipment. Um, so you get a bonus alongside of renting out your GPU. And then if you are holding Chlor, uh, you get up to a 50% discount on our commission for services. Um, so you do also get a discount on that end. So this proof of holding solution is designed to incentivize and empower users who hold Chlor tokens. So I think it's very unique. Uh, it is still proof of work in its very basic sense, uh, but a very interesting twist to that. Now, when you get a little bit into the tokenomics and the economics, if you will, of Chlor, uh, it has a lot of the characteristics that a lot of people really like 
when it comes to proof of work. Um, usually, fair launches, no pre-mines, no lockups is kind of like the perfect criteria. Uh, we saw that in the likes of Caspa. Caspa has done extremely well. One of the reasons being a fair launch and no pre-mines. So uh, that is what is exactly the case with Chlorii. No pre-mine, no ICO. Uh, they also have a good distribution uh, timeline having reduces rewards with each block, ensuring fairness, unlike Bitcoins. Uh, so it gradually decreases. It's not a drastic halving every four years. Uh, Chlor is ASIC resistant uh, due to the Kapow algorithm. The limited supply of 1.3 billion coins uh, set to be fully mined in 20 years. So there is a scarcity factor as well. Uh, and then the tokenomics uh, ensure fair distribution, 50% of each block going to miners. 40% to hosters and 10% to the team. So overall, the tokenomics really speak for themselves and to many people are quite appealing uh, just from the supply and demand standpoint. You can look at their timeline. Uh, they've been, in, in my opinion, very successful based on their timeline, uh, meeting the different goals that they have put out in front of themselves. Now, Chlor AI has a lot more in the pipeline 2024 is going to be quite the interesting year as what they're going to be attempting to do is bring uh we talked about block x a little bit uh in a couple prior videos but block x essentially attempts to be like a whole computer kind of like a norton if you will for your computer uh Chloria is venturing into that in 2024 uh they're going to be releasing chlor vpn um, they're going to do an operating system. So there's going to be a lot of very interesting things. Uh, Chlor storage is going to be coming. So it's going to be very interesting to see some of these additional features, additional use cases for the likes of Chlor. And we'll talk about what that could entail in the future from a price action standpoint. Uh, you can check out the Chlor Blockchain Explorer, uh, see, see some of the details. You can just kind of see everything, if you will, in action. Look up your address, etc. Um, you can see some movements and, and just general stuff if you're that interested in looking at some of the core blockchain uh, details. You can see the wallet distribution, how everything is balanced out uh, and, and kind of see where holders are, uh, if you will. But uh, to me, the most important details and the most important statistics, uh, and you can do this based on this is just the last seven days. You can do this uh, in, in different ranges. You can make this customizable to what you're looking for. But this is the, the the numbers that make me very excited about core because there's one thing building a network and calling it really good and, and making it very flashy and making it very appealing uh but there's also the other aspect of people actually utilizing the thing that you've built and you can see that exactly right here so there's a hundred a thousand ninety six machines currently online a thousand and two of those are rented which is absolutely insane uh, and you can kind of see how those are broken up. You can see down here as well, the total GPUs, total rented, um, as far as GP rental statistics. You can see online machines, uh, public machines, hidden machines. So you got a lot more uh, details as far as the overall use of this ecosystem, which I think is absolutely impressive. Uh, it's essentially Chlorei is, is, it's being difficult for them to keep up with the demand that they're receiving, which is always really good to see. Now, when you look at Chlor AI compared to its other competitors in the space, when it comes to directly renting GPU resources, uh, a company that is similar to this, we've talked about before in the past, we actually did a video talking about how you can mine Bitcoin using uh, Vast AI, which was a really interesting video. Uh, in the end, uh, I'll give you kind of the, the down low uh, it was more expensive to rent than it, than the profits that were made, but it was an interesting experiment nonetheless. But from a price point standpoint, it's very, very affordable. And in fact, there are certain GPUs. If you pull up a 3090, it's actually sometimes cheaper through Chlor AI to rent a 3090 than it is through Vast AI. Uh, so you can see here, um, this is 13090 for 57 cents an hour. This one's... At, for two of them is really expensive. You can see 22 cents. Um, so obviously this does change, but in the end, on average, what Chlorii has promoted themselves to be, if you look at this article, that as low as 25 cents per hour, uh, which makes it very, very competitive in its niche. Now, the last thing that I really wanna talk about 
is where could Clore AI go? I'm not a huge fan of uh, throwing out random price points or random price targets for cryptocurrency projects uh, because it really is that it's random and, and there's really just a lot of unknowns and it's all hypotheticals. But I want to compare Clore to other projects in this space that are very, very similar uh, that have seen a level of success in this industry. Now, the first one is Akash. Now, we've talked about Akash before in the past. Uh, Akash is getting involved in this GPU rendering, uh, renting of GPUs space in its recent developments uh, and preparation for mainnet launch for this specific business. Uh, and it's done extremely well uh, in growth recently, Akash has and people looking at that opportunity. So if Clore was to reach the market cap of Akash, it would still do another 10x uh, from where it is today. And like we talked about, the use case of Clore uh, AI and uh, video rendering, movie rendering, uh, graphics rendering, uh, something to that degree is something that is very popular with the likes of Render. Uh, and if Clore was to reach the market cap of Render, it would be a 33x. Uh, so will Clore AI ever reach those targets? Who knows? I know they've got a lot more in the pipeline, a lot more things on their roadmap, which make me very excited for its future. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about Render. Uh, is this a project that you've been mining? Is this the first time you've ever heard about it? And uh, what do you think about the future of uh, Clore AI? I think I said render before, but what do you think about Clore AI? Leave your thoughts, comments down below. Enjoy this video, smash up a like, enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. Until next time, guys, stay invested.